Vanuatu, they call it the root of happiness. These humble plant roots are the key ingredient for the Pacific region's great traditional drink, kava. And Vanuatu's kava is the most potent of them all. And my new best friends, Priya and Nere, are about to reveal how kava has been prepared according to tribal custom for thousands of years. Of course, those were the days before electric blenders found their way to the islands. What do I do? <laughs> oh, okay. oh, that's, even I can do that. Okay. Well, my mouth is not going numb. I won't be able to talk in about five minutes, which some people would say is not a bad thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Different, different colour. Yeah. Because you're white, you're white skin, so you're <laughs> white. Yeah. White cover. White cover. <laughs> now, I want to mix the cover like this. Priya says cava drinking first originated here in Vanuatu before spreading across the Pacific in a more diluted form. Vanuatu cava is very strong, more than richie. Because richie cava, because they use powder cava. When you go just cold, drink it and finish it. Oh, that's, that's too much for me. Huh? Too much? No. Yeah. <laughs> this one is too small. <laughs> You've got the big body. Oh, man, yeah. I'll, I'll be senseless after drinking this. And yes, it tastes just how it looks. <laughs> with the flavour and consistency <laughs> of muddy river water. <laughs> Cheers. In traditional society, kava drinking was regulated by the chiefs. <laughs> yeah. When you get two, three cell kava or... And you've got the bed, early in the morning you wake up, you feel fresh. No hangover? No hangover. Thankfully, Priya was right about the lack of a hangover. So the next morning, we're crashing along with the world's leading carver expert, French scientist, Dr. Vincent Lebeau. He spent 30 years studying and drinking carver. It's an important export crop. Growing it is a profitable business. So the carver tends to be either very well hidden or well guarded? Yes, theft is a major problem on this island. It takes about three to five years to cultivate kava, and therefore it's a highly valuable product. Let's go down this way, I think. About 15,000 hectares of kava okay. is cultivated on the more inaccessible outer islands. This way. But here on the main island of Afate, the plants are concealed in forests and vegetable gardens. Careful because... These are plants? Yes, these yeah. are plants. Here they are. This is a very young one. This is called Piper metisticum. comes from the Greek metustikos which means uh, intoxicating. So it's the intoxicating pepper. It's the same family as the black pepper that we are all uh, using, but it's well known for its inebriating properties. These roots are the roots that we are using. Dr. Yeah. Lebeau well, says kava isn't addictive. And these active ingredients exist only in It's used kava. in traditional medicine, both as an effective so antiseptic and anesthetic. If you chew that, you feel the local anaesthetic effect. I've experienced that. <laughs> in fact, it felt like a trip to the dentist. But in Europe, there have been deaths attributed to kava-based health tablets. As a result, kava is now banned in Germany, France, the UK and Canada. Dr Lebeau says kava isn't the problem, it's the chemicals used to produce the pills. So what they were selling in Europe, was it kava? Not at all, it was something else. Unfortunately, they had a huge media coverage and consumers throughout the world now are scared. They, they, they suspect kava to be hepatotoxic, to produce some toxic effect on the liver. I cannot understand how it could be toxic because here in the South Pacific, half of the population drinks and we cannot find any side effects. Few outsiders drink Vanuatu's potent traditional kava, most preferring the gentler brands found in supermarkets. It's powdered and much weaker.
Well, this is a typical kava bar. We also call them nakamals. There are about 300 in town. This is the rush hour, is it? It is, exactly. So we better not miss the rush hour. This is a typical banyan tree. Uh, we call them nabanga in Vanuatu. And yeah. in the islands, the nakamals are always set up underneath the banyan tree. Yeah? Why, yeah. Is, why is that? Well, that's for custom uh, purposes, I mean, ceremonial purposes. And they believe that the spirits are having their house somewhere into the roots of this uh, huge tree. But this is no ordinary nakamal, is it? I mean, where, where are we here? Just well, explain. this one is uh, a little bit uh, special because we are just across the road from the parliament. Oh, OK. So we might be knocking shells with... Uh... The Prime Minister or the leader of the opposition. Oh, okay. or, right. or the two of them together. <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, we soon find opposition leader Moana Kakasas working the crowd. A migrant from Tahiti, he's taken to Kaaba with a passion. Cheers. And of course, there's the obligatory round of shells before any talk. Mm. Wow. Ah, it's some biting up. Oh. OK, what impact does the carver have, if you like, on the standard of political debate? It's right next door. Since uh, we have uh, a lot of kava drinking, we have less problem. Uh, before, drunkenness was a problem. People drink alcohol, yeah. they fight. Yeah. With kava, we don't have any more this problem. Kava bars didn't exist before Vanuatu's independence in 1980. All this is the product of social engineering, designed to lower the crime rate. A prohibitive duty was slapped on alcohol, making kava the affordable brew of choice. If alcohol was cheap or readily available, I think that we would have more crimes in Port Vila than we have today because we have quite a lot of unemployed youth which have left their islands and are hanging around town doing nothing. But because of kava, I think it's maintaining the society in an harmonious manner. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> well, I'll drink to that. After a few shells, it's easy to slide into Vanuatu's carver culture. Though it remains an acquired taste. <laughs> a recent international survey declared Vanuatu's people to be the happiest on earth. In good company, perfect tropical evening, you begin to understand why.